Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown of All Spans. I'm your host, Bull. In today's video, we will be breaking down the film of David Sanders Jr., listed at six foot six, two hundred and seventy six pounds from Providence Day School in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now he is rated as the number one offensive tackle and offensive lineman in this class. He's a star. He's a stud. We we're able to beat out teams like Ohio State, UGA, and Nebraska to land David, but he had over a hundred offers. So he is the absolute and total truth. You already know that. Very excited to jump into his film. All right, first play we're going to have David working on the left side. He is number 70 and um, a really nice job. Let me go back to this just to show y'all how good of an athlete he is, just to see how special he is, right? Six foot six, 280 pounds. Look at how good he looked doing that. Change of directions is really good. Goes out and is able to find a secondary player, takes him all the way to his own team's bench, right? And, uh, and just finishes him out. So looks really good out in space. You can tell that he's got really good hand placement, things like that. Notice all that off of the first one. Now on this one, he's pulling around. We're actually going to take this bag, boom, right here. Let's start it back over again. He's going to be playing on the left side at tackle. He is number 70, pulling around, gets up the field. Oh, my gosh. I mean, whenever you see people's legs flailing up in the air on a block because you dominate them so much, you know, I think that that should make you feel really good about how good of a player this kid is going to be. Now, right here, we've got him on a uh, stretch, stretch zone play on a little bit of a reach block, but, I mean, pretty much the same thing, right? He gets his hands on. Uh, you know, that end right there or linebacker, or whatever that was, and takes them all the way down to the ground. Very impressive. Very strong core is what I'm noticing. Kind of the same thing here, but on this one, he's doing a little bit more catching. So patient, right? He's patient. Um, boom, right? So right here, you can kind of tell, hasn't engaged yet. He kind of lets that defender come on up the field, make it an easier block on yourself. But look at what he does to finish this off. Once he gets a hold of him, let's keep driving him. Even if my own team's in a way, I don't care, right? You, you see that guy's arm flying up in the air. He is extremely dominant. He's extremely special. You could tell that just off of the first few plays. Right here, down block. Same thing, right? Finishes this kid, right? Like, that kid really wanted no parts of him. Let's take it to this spot right, uh, to this spot right here. That kid right here, look, he's running away. He wants no parts of this. But this is that bully mentality that you have to have. You absolutely got to have that sort of a mindset whenever you're playing offensive line, especially in the SEC. He's the nicest guy that you'll probably ever meet. And I've never met him, but you can just tell he's a really nice guy off the field seems like he's a really good kid but he knows how to flip that switch turn it on and once he gets in between those white lines he's an absolute menace look at this here boom almost takes him all the way to the sidelines and just his momentum and he's such a good athlete the way that he kind of rolled over himself right there that's impressive everything that i'm seeing right here this is generational stuff y'all i mean it's hard to find offensive linemen that are this good this is a huge pickup for our balls let's see him again pulling beautiful coming up out of his stance finds a guy and then he comes to the inside. So this is something that I like. You know, I don't want to go too much in depth with all this stuff, but I'm just kind of, you know, gushing over this kid. Notice how he comes to the inside and look how big this hole is for his running back. Neutralizes this kid, takes him way out of the hole, finishes it with a pancake all the way down to the ground. That's, I mean, that's just high level stuff, y'all. Very, very, very impressive. See what he does on this one. Um, boom. Good job getting up out of his stance. Kind of the same thing there, right? Where, uh, you know, this is another stretch zone play. And I don't know. If this is coming from his high school coach, if it's someone that he's been training with, but just absolutely beautiful fundamentals and technique. Just look at the way that he's, again, very patient right there, and then boom, comes on over and takes that guy out, pancakes him. And he actually kind of slowed up the defenders that were coming from the inside as well because he's such a big body. Anytime that you pancake players uh, you know, on the defense, you're going to take out more than one player. You know, I would say nine times out of 10 because you're creating a big old pile now the defense kind of has to go over that. You just give your running backs a little bit more room there. And, you know, that start off as a combo block, but I don't think that David needed any help on this. Watch him get up out of a stance here. Boom. Takes his time again. He was actually pretty patient. But, man, once he gets his hands on you, you know, again, he's got very strong hands. Beautiful hand placement as well. But his core strength and the way that he drives and all of that, I mean, it's pretty – it looks pretty easy anyway for him to just be dominant on this level. I think that it's going to translate a lot to the college level and to the SEC, especially once he gets uh, with Coach E, man. Like, they're going to get him right. Again, you see him just being a dog, right? Uh, you know, that was a little bit of a halfback delay. And, again, you're seeing that patience. Kind of a veteran move there. I'm just very impressed with this. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. We've got to go back to this because this is beautiful. This is what I was talking about whenever I say, I don't know if his coach is the one trying to do this, but the way that he's able to get hands off him, watch this. He's going to slap those hands off. Boom, right there. He gets them off. And then, I mean, that kid falls over his feet because 
David Sanders has such quick hands. That's so important playing in the trenches on this level. You've got to have quick hands. He's going to be a stud. And here, let's go back right there. Boom. Okay, so he's a little bit cocked uh, to the outside, but does a really good job of just kind of turning his body, washing down that uh, end. I think he might have been lined up outside of him. It looks like he was, but this neutralizes him, takes him way out of the play. Uh, and then right here, it looks like we've got, um, okay, so he's already engaged with the block and kind of like that same thing, right? I mean, he's going to drive you two to three yards up the field. Beautiful in run blocking. So right here, we can tell that he is, again, kind of cocked over to the left. I don't know if that's something that, you know, he's going to continue to do. Maybe we'll try to get him up out of that. But either way, what we see is that whoever he's going up against, uh, you know, as far as his end goes, does a really good job of setting him up to the outside because he sees this inside spot. Sets him up to the outside, boom, comes back to the inside. But look at how quickly David Sanders adjusts to that. And look at the explosion. He's very twitchy, extremely twitchy for his size, uh, you know, for all the length and all the weight that he's kind of carrying around. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, in my opinion, of course, it's very early in his young career, but I feel like he could be a guy that could end up being a, you know, pro bowler, you know, Hall of Fame type of a guy. Again, it is very early, and I completely understand that, but I'm just talking about whenever you look at his foundation, looking at his foundation, he's a player that you could, you know, you would not be shocked if someone said, you know, 20, 30 years down the line, hey, David Sanders ended up in the uh, Hall of Fame, right? Like, I mean, that just, that wouldn't shock you by any means. So let's see him right here, okay? So he's still, again, working on, uh, working at the tackle position, but he's gonna come all the way out. This shows how good of an athlete he is. Covering 10 to 12 yards on this, what I love the most um, right here is whenever you watch him come over, watch, okay? So he's doing a really good job just of lining this block up, but then boom, right at the last second, he's able to show that explosion and take this kid out. And again, man, that twitchiness, that suddenness, I mean, it's so hard to find in a player on the offensive line on this level. Beautiful job right there in pass protection. He's going to protect whoever, you know, whatever quarterback's blind side is. Look at this, I mean, that's that's just ridiculous. I mean, he's going to protect it at a really, really high level. And I mean, he is extremely, extremely advanced for a high school player. Um, you know, I also love him getting into his pass sets. He looks really good right there. I'm not gonna pause it too many more times, y'all, because I know y'all wanna get through this, but I think that y'all get the point. Now we can just kind of cruise. Look at that right there. Working, uh, you know, getting up to the second level takes out two guys on the second level. A lot of times it's hard for offensive linemen just to get one, but he gets two. Again, very beautiful pass set. Uh, you know, does not let you beat him to the inside. That's the most important thing. But he also has the speed to make sure that he doesn't get beat to the outside. It's not just about the speed with his footwork and quickness, but also with his technique and his fundamentals. Uh, I mean, it's just, you can't say enough good things about him. This is one of the better uh, you know, if not, you know, I would say for sure, he's one of the best offensive line prospects that I've seen. That right there was really nice. So I know I told y'all that I wouldn't pause it too many more times, but we got to go back on this because I want for y'all to see this. I'll start it right at this point. So watch what he does. He's going to go to the outside of this end. Okay. Boom, goes to the outside of him. But I mean, for him to be able to get to the outside of this end and the end is kind of still in their stance and he's able to get to the outside of him quick enough to still be able to come down and down block him. That's ridiculous. We're going to watch one more play because I don't need to see anything else. I think that we've seen enough. If y'all want to watch the whole thing, I'll actually leave a link down in the, in the description below. But I mean, you're saying how good of a pass blocker he is. That's it, y'all. Let's go ahead and get to his grades. All right, and this will not take long. As an athlete, David Sanders is a five-star. As far as toughness and physicality, he's definitely a five-star. Whenever you talk about run blocking or pass blocking, he's a five-star. No questions. If I could give him more stars, I most definitely would. He's a five-star all day long. Absolutely love watching this kid's film. I love listening to him speak. He's a good kid. He gets it, right? And I can't be any more proud of this staff going out and beating teams like Ohio State, UGA, Clemson, Nebraska. Everyone in the entire country wanted David Sanders. If I'm not mistaken, he had over like 100 offers. And y'all can tell why, right? He is a generational type of a talent. And can he come in and maybe start as a true freshman? I think that he does have the opportunity to do that. But my biggest thing is we've got good depth there already. I think that he will be fighting for sure, more than likely on the right side because we do have Lance Hurd returning, but he's a guy that I am just so impressed with from top to bottom, very polished. And we'll see how quickly he can put that weight on now that he is committed to our volunteers. Does he want to wait until he gets up on campus? Because at about 280 pounds, he's going to have to gain, I would say at least 30 before we feel comfortable starting him. But if he can gain that much weight, I would not be surprised to see him starting from day one as a true freshman. But those are my thoughts, y'all. Please let me know yours down in the comment section. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share with your friends, family, and other volunteer fans. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks, peace.